I want to switch gears a little bit. I want to ask a little bit about Jeopardy. Uh-huh. Uh, those are those are big shoes to fill, to say the least. I'm sure that comes with a lot of expectation and drama. Uh, I'm curious about that, but I'm also curious about literally hosting Jeopardy in those moments. Like, what, what what surprised you? What became more more difficult than you expected? In in uh, there's the macro stepping into the shoes, but quite sure. literally in those, those moments, I'm wondering what, what, what it felt like and what surprised you. Um, gosh, there's, there's so much, I mean, uh, you know, you obviously can't fill Alex Trebek's shoes and he's such a, you know, beloved icon, um, and, and a beloved person, you know, he really, um, his presence is really felt, you know, on that stage, he was, you know, he was, he was everything for that show and for the larger community. For me, there's um, there's a, a lot of joy, you know, that I get from being surrounded by people who want to to learn and who are kind of lifelong learners. Like, you know, I, I like to think that's a community that I I love to be in. I love meeting these contestants and hearing all the things about their lives and then seeing them display not only intelligence. It, it's it is partly that and also the ability to be present and. Um, efficient with the delivery of that information and, you know, being able to regurgitate information that they've gathered over a lifetime. Like there's a reason I didn't go to med school. It's because information went in, but it didn't stay, you know, so I couldn't pass organic chemistry, um, at least not with the A that I needed to get to medical school. So um, it, it's wonderful being in that environment. I really, really enjoy the behind the scenes things. Again, the things that not a lot of people see, the, the researchers, the writers that we have, um, getting to have conversations about clues with them. And we have like a writer's meeting, you know, every morning before we film. Um, there's a lot practically that's, um, you know, a, a, a constant a, a constant evolving practice. Like I have a thing in my ear. So someone's like talking at me potentially at any time all day while also trying to deliver information and sound fluid. And, you know, Alex did it for many, many years. And um, in even Ken Jennings, you know, I, I, it's, I'm I'm still learning some of that vocabulary. And, um, I, it is very enjoyable, not as enjoyable to do in heels, but it's okay. You know, cause it does, it's, it, it looks nice with the blazer. It's like a thing. Um, but <laughs> I, I do, I do really, really, um, enjoy my time there. And as an actor, you know, who's used to reading a script, there's something really nice to kind of letting the contestants do, you know, that, that heavy lifting I'm, I'm reading clues, but the, the drama is really up to them. So, um, it, it has been very, very enjoyable there is an emergency light that I accidentally hit. And so they took away the the button. So I can't accidentally hit it anymore. <laughs> what, 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 in case of what kind of emergency? That's like, the thing. Uh, no one will tell me. I think they're afraid if they told me I'd be ringing it. So I, <laughs> it's not there anymore. They, just, if you they didn't phrase it. The they, they aren't phrasing it in questions. They aren't phrasing it into questions. Burn the place down. The button is gone. It was there. Now it's gone. 